Welcome to Web World Tube, the channel where we dive into the mysteries that blend science, spirituality, and ancient wisdom. Today, we're diving into an extraordinary topic that has captivated millions across the globe for centuries. How to communicate with Lord Shiva. We'll explore ancient wisdom from the Indian Vedas, practical steps to connect with this divine energy, and ways to attune your mind to receive Lord Shiva's communications. If you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more spiritual insights and guidance. Understanding Lord Shiva Lord Shiva, known as the destroyer of evil and the transformer, is one of the principal deities of Hinduism. His presence symbolizes the eternal power of transformation and the cycle of creation, preservation, and destruction. According to the Vedas, Shiva is the epitome of purity, wisdom, and ultimate bliss. But how do we communicate with such a profound force? Let's delve into the steps you can take to open up this divine channel. Free your mind from clutter. The first step in communicating with Lord Shiva is to purify your mind. The Vedas emphasize the importance of mental clarity and control. Here's how you can start. Practice mindfulness. Spend a few minutes each day observing your thoughts without judgment. This practice helps you understand your mental patterns and begin to control them. Meditation. Engage in regular meditation to still the mind. Focus on your breath and let go of unnecessary thoughts. Over time, this will help you achieve a state of inner calmness. Control your impulses. The Vedas teach that impulsive actions stem from an uncontrolled mind. To communicate with Lord Shiva, learn to observe your impulses without acting on them immediately. Here's a method, pause and reflect. When you feel an impulse, pause. Reflect on the root cause of this impulse. Is it a genuine need or just a fleeting desire? Journal. Keep a journal to track your impulses and reflections. This helps in understanding the deeper layers of your mind. The power of Aum Namah Shivaya. The mantra Aum Namah Shivaya is one of the most powerful mantras dedicated to Lord Shiva. The Vedas highlight its significance in connecting with Shiva's energy. Here's how you can incorporate it into your daily practice. Rudrakshamala. Get a 108 seed. Rudrakshamala. These beads are believed to be a gift from Shiva himself and are highly sacred. Daily chanting. Start by chanting Aum Namah Shivaya 108 times daily. Focus on the mantra with a clear mind. Gradually, you can increase the number of sets as you become more comfortable. Mindful chanting. Ensure your mind is uncluttered while chanting. Treat it as a sacred practice, like cleaning your room before a guest arrives. Fasting for clarity. Fasting is a time-honored practice mentioned in the Vedas to purify the body and mind. Here's how to incorporate fasting into your routine. Monday. Fasts. Keep a fast on Mondays, the day dedicated to Lord Shiva. This practice helps in cleansing your body and enhancing mental clarity. Simple diet. On fasting days, consume light and sattvic food like fruits, vegetables, and milk. Avoid heavy, tamasic foods that cloud the mind. Additional mantras. Recite additional Shiva mantras on fasting days to deepen your connection. Mantras like Mahamrityunjaya Mantra can be particularly powerful. The Significance of the Shivalinga Worshipping the Shivalinga is a direct way to communicate with Lord Shiva. According to the Vedas, the Shivalinga represents the formless aspect of Shiva. Here's how to perform the worship. Offerings Use water, bilva leaves and flowers in your worship. Lord Shiva's favorite flowers include Shank Pushpi, Crown Flower, Purple Orchid, Dhatura, and various lotuses. Rituals. Perform a simple Abhishekam, ritual bathing, of the Shivalinga with water or milk. Chant Aum Namah Shivaya while making the offerings. Personal space. If possible, create a small space in your home dedicated to Shiva. This becomes your sacred area for daily worship and meditation. Temple visits. If you live near a Shiva temple, Make regular visits part of your routine. The Vedas emphasize the power of collective energy in temples. Here's how to make the most of your visits. Silent prayer. Spend time in silent prayer and contemplation. 
absorb the positive vibrations of the temple environment. No obligations. You don't need to perform elaborate rituals or spend money. Simply being in the temple's presence is beneficial. Pilgrimages. Going on pilgrimages to sacred sites associated with Lord Shiva can deepen your spiritual journey. Consider visiting Jyotirlingas. These are 12 sacred abodes of Shiva spread across India. Each Jyotirlinga has its unique significance and spiritual power. Kailash Yatra. The ultimate pilgrimage for Shiva devotees is the Kailash Yatra. Mount Kailash in Tibet is considered the earthly abode of Lord Shiva. Undertaking this pilgrimage is a profound spiritual journey, inner awareness. As you progress in your practices, you'll start becoming aware of subtle communications from Lord Shiva. The Vedas describe this as a state of heightened consciousness. Here's how to attune yourself. Listen to your intuition. Pay attention to your inner voice. Often, Shiva's messages come through intuition and insights during meditation. Signs and symbols. Be open to signs and symbols in your daily life. These can be unexpected occurrences, dreams, or even spontaneous thoughts that feel significant. Continuous learning. Spiritual growth is a continuous process. Keep studying the Vedas and other sacred texts. Join satsangs, spiritual gatherings, and learn from experienced practitioners. Communicating with Lord Shiva is a profound journey that involves purifying your mind, regular mantra chanting, fasting, worship, and being open to subtle communications. By following these steps rooted in the wisdom of the Vedas, you'll gradually attune yourself to receive Lord Shiva's divine guidance. Remember, the journey is as important as the destination. Stay dedicated, and over time, you'll experience the transformative power of connecting with Lord Shiva. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others who might benefit, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more spiritual insights. Until next time, stay blessed and connected to the Divine.